Let me ask you a question. What comes to your mind when I talk about the richest and the most powerful people? Your probable answers would be Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Mark Zuckerberg or Bernard Arnault. Well, great. Let me ask you another question. What comes to your mind when I talk about the richest and the most powerful families? I know most of you would have no proper answer to it. Throughout the annals of history, some families had wielded unparalleled influence, shaping the destiny of nations and leaving an undeniable mark on this world. Yet very little is talked about them. In today's video, we'll deep dive into few such families which you might not heard of, but they play or played a major role in creating the world that you see today. One such family is the Rockefeller family. The story of the Rockefellers began with John D. Rockefeller, born in 1839 to a traveling salesman and a homemaker. Despite his modest upbringing, Rockefeller showed early signs of business acumen, venturing into his first business enterprise as a produce commission merchant. However, it was his entry into the oil business in 1863 that set the stage for his future empire. In 1870, John D. Rockefeller founded Standard Oil, a company that would come to define his legacy. Through aggressive expansion and shrewd business tactics, including acquisitions and undercutting competitors, Standard Oil rapidly became the prominent force in the American oil industry. By the 1880s, Rockefeller's firm controlled about 90% of the US oil refining capacity. This monopoly not only created incredible wealth, but also sparked significant controversies and public backlash, leading to antitrust lawsuits. The public and legal battles over Standard Oil's monopoly reached its climax in 1911 when the US Supreme Court deemed Standard Oil a monopoly under the Sherman Antitrust Act and ordered its dissolution into 34 smaller companies. This landmark decision profoundly shaped US future legislations. However, Rockefeller's story didn't end with Standard Oil. Turning towards philanthropy, Rockefeller became one of the world's greatest patrons of education, science and medicine. His foundation pioneered scientific researchers and public health and his donation helped establish institutions like the University of Chicago and the Rockefeller University. Rockefeller's descendants continued his legacy of wealth and influence. His son, John D. Rockefeller Jr. continued the family philanthropic endeavors, significantly shaping the cultural landscape of America through the creation of landmarks such as Rockefeller Center in New York City and the restoration of Colonial Williamsburg. Meanwhile, the other family members expanded into politics and environmental conservations. Notably, Nelson Rockefeller served as Vice President of the United States under Gerald Ford and David Rockefeller became a prominent banker and global system. Today, the Rockefeller name lives as a symbol of both the heights of capitalistic success and philanthropic impacts. The family's journey from humble beginnings to global prominence embodies the complex narratives of American industrial and social history. The story of our next family begins in the late 18th century in the Jewish ghetto of Frankfurt, Germany, where Mayor Amschel, a young Jewish banker, established a modest banking business. This would later become one of the most powerful banking dynasties in the world, the Rothschilds. With the network of trusted agents and strategic alliances across Europe, Amschel Rothschild expanded his banking business, financing trade and facilitating international transactions. The family's reputation for reliability and discretion soon attracted the patronage of the royalty and the nobility, laying the groundwork for their ascent to power. 
As the Rothschilds' banking dynasty grew, so did their influence over global finance, with branches in major financial centers such as London, Paris, Vienna, and beyond. The Rothschilds effectively controlled the flow of capital across continents. Their ability to capitalize geopolitical events such as financing wars and government debts further solidified their position as the prominent financial power of the 19th century. The family's innovative financial instruments, including government bonds and railway investments, fueled economic developments and transformed the modern banking system. In addition to their financial powers, the Rothschilds wielded significant political influence through their extensive network of connections and alliances. Members of this family served as advisors to monarchs and heads of the states, shaping diplomatic negotiations and influencing policy decisions. Moreover, the Rothschilds played a crucial role in international diplomacy, acting as intermediates between warring nations and facilitating peace agreements. Their ability to navigate the complex web of European politics earned them the trust and admiration of leaders all across the continent. Despite facing scrutiny and conspiracy theories all throughout the history, the Rothschild family's legacy continues even today. Their philanthropic endeavors, cultural patronage, and contribution to education continue to shape society and inspire future generations. The Rothschild's influence remains undeniable in the world of finance and geopolitics, with their descendants continuing to play active roles in business, philanthropy, and public service. Their story serves as a testament to the power of perseverance, innovation, and strategic vision to achieve enduring success. Now talking about the richest families and not talking about the next family would make the video completely meaningless. Yes, I am talking about the House of Saud. The story of this family begins in the 18th century with Muhammad bin Saud the founder of this dynasty in the central Arabian town of Diria. The family's initial power base was established through a pact between Muhammad bin Saud and Muhammad al-Wahhab, forming a political and religious alliance that laid the groundwork for Saudi expansion. The partnership fused the militant zeal of Wahhabism with the political ambitions of the Saud family, setting the stage for conquest and consolidation of power across the Arabian Peninsula. The alliance was the counterstone of the first Saudi state, with religious reform and expansion at its heart. The Wahhabi movement, with its strict interpretation of Islam, was both a spiritual and a political tool that the Sauds used to legitimize the rule and expand their territory. However, their growing power eventually alarmed the Ottoman Empire, leading to conflicts and the eventual destruction of the first Saudi state in the early 19th century. The Saudi realm was resurrected in the early 20th century by Abdulaziz Al Saud, also known as Ibn Saud, who proved to be a formidable leader and tactician. Through a series of conquests and strategic marriages, he had over 30 wives and many children to secure alliances. Ibn Saud successfully united the disparate tribes of the Arabian Peninsula under the banner of the newly formed kingdom in Saudi Arabia in 1932. The discovery of oil in 1938 transformed the economic landscape of Saudi Arabia. The subsequent development of the oil industry, managed through partnership with the Western oil companies, catapulted the House of Saud into unimaginable wealth. The wealth enabled the royal family to consolidate political power, embark on massive infrastructural projects, and exert significant influence over global oil prices and policies. With immense wealth came immense influence. Saudi Arabia, under the House of Saud, 
has played a pivotal role in the Middle East, managing relationship between the West and the Islamic world. The family's rule has been characterized by a blend of traditionalism and modernization. Navigating the complexities of maintaining internal stability while managing relationships with powers like the United States and navigating regional conflicts. Today, the House of Saud has a combined wealth of about $1.4 trillion. Yes, trillion with a T. Even today, it continues to be a central player in the world stage. Recent years have seen significant social and economic reforms under Vision 2030, led by the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salam. These reforms aim to diversify the Saudi wealth away from oil dependence and introduce progressive chances in a traditional conservative society. The House of Saud's story is one of remarkable rise and enduring power. From their origin in the harsh deserts of Arabia to their current status as custodians of two of Islam's holiest places and global oil magnates, their impact on regional politics and their global economy is undeniable. As we watch Saudi Arabia to navigate its future, the world watches how the legacy of the House of Saud will shape the next chapter of this fascinating dynasty. So we have come to the end of this video and I hope this video was valuable to you. This was just a short summary of all the three families that we just talked about. And if you want detailed case studies of each of these families, then let me know in the comments. And for this video, if you found this informative, then please do give it a like. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, because such kind of videos take up a ton of time into scripting and editing and your support would make up for all of it. So meet you in the next video. Until next time, it's me Ali Abbas signing off.